This show in tandem will be the first show that I'll have had with Dad in this area. Although we've shown together before, it's been a case of I've got some paintings, you've got some paintings and we'll show them. So this was the first time that we put together a considered curated exhibition. I started to have the idea that I wanted to do it because the area was so important to me. And I have that sense of belonging because it's Yorkshire. I'm looking at sort of close-ups and I'm looking at things that, that people will naturally miss and naturally maybe gloss over or even walk through. Sometimes it's, it's from nature, it's from photographs and sometimes it's, it's from my memory. She's a storyteller, a natural storyteller. Our studio is, is a cellar, it's a dungeon. <laughs> it's about creating a history, about moments in time which culminate in a sort of labyrinth of detail of, of moments that I've remembered and want to savour and, and create something beautiful from. They are beautiful paintings and they have a sense of architecture much more sophisticated than mine. He loves painting at Gordale, Malantan. Gordale is a kind of equation. It's quite a complex tumbling series of rocks. It's like um, a rolled up piece of paper that you've taken the elastic band off and the wind whistles around inside. You can't get back. It's easy to put too much detail in. It's quite a challenge to keep it broad and simple. When things are emerging, they're suggesting that sense of poetry. When he comes up here, he'll take his, his rucksack out there and uh, we'll see him sitting on his stool. It's like taking notes in a lecture. It's one way of memorising him. But it's the landscape of the town that captivates me. It's high up, right in the Pennines, as it were. Hardly anything between you and the sky. Oh, wow, this is fantastic. This is awesome.